my wife gives me a hard time because I only have, I probably have 20 t-shirts, but some of them are in my motor home and, you know, and, and some are just more comfortable than others. And I wear about five t-shirts and you see them in the videos. And so I, I think that I uh, want to apologize in advance, but uh, to my wife and to the rest of you for seeing me in the same t-shirts over and over again, but these some comfortable ass t-shirts. So I can't do anything any different than that. But, you know, I, I, on a more serious note, I, I wanted to take some time just to uh, talk a little bit about where we are as a channel and, and some of that. So, um, but before we, before we get into that, I'd like to first, uh, ask that if you do like the uh this channel and you you find it helpful uh in any way please uh, feel free to to like the channel uh, and subscribe to the channel and also i'd like to announce that i have a instagram account um which is ask sabado and i'll put the the uh the i try to put the qr code in there if i can get that working but I, I, the name should be showing up here shortly and 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 you know you can join me there you can slide into my dms and we can have one-on-one -on -one conversations the one thing i always have with me is my phone and you could probably tell from my youtube channel that i like to talk and so you know we could we could always uh connect that way and i try to put up as much content a lot of my shorts and stuff go up there not my shorts but you know the short videos and, and things of that nature so it's good but on that note let's uh let's get into it um, I'm going to let you know a little secret, just in general. Um, I was, as I mentioned on other, in other videos that I, as I, I retired as, as, as an executive in an executive level, uh, C-level position. And, um, you know, I was known for, for getting things done. I, I wasn't always the most, um, politically correct. It wasn't always the nicest. Uh, there's a lot of people, both in my personal and professional lives, that might have been off put a little bit by, you know, my drive. And it was never, you know, outwardly trying to hurt people and things like that. But it was it was really trying to trying to move and get things done. And I think if you talk to any uh, executive level person, uh, including up and up to and including the CEO, you'll, you'll find that, um, you know, most people and I think we all are to some degree, but I think it comes out more because of the influence is that we're flawed. We're just these, we're, we're flawed individuals. We're, we're not perfect. Uh, and the higher you go, the more, uh, people have the expectation of you being closer to perfect, but, but we're flawed. So one of the things that I, I started to do, um, a few years ago was I started to, uh, really look at myself, uh, and, and said, you know, I, I just want to be a better person. I, I just want to be the best person I can be. And, you know, I can stay comfortable and continue doing this stuff, but, that's not going to work for me and it's not going to work for the folks around me. And it's not, it's not really how I want to be known as a person. And so I started working on, on different things. And every year I, I have one thing that becomes my area of, of personal focus. And again, it's, it's not about, um, it's not about, uh, uh, you know, setting new year's resolutions because all you got to do is go to the gym in March and you see where new year's resolutions go, but trying to, trying to understand, um, you know, yourself better and, and under, you know, I talk about how we tend to underestimate the impact that we have on other people, but also, um, you know, it's, it's understanding what we do and, and our behaviors and, and, and having that and, and our egos allowing us to, to, to make changes to that and realize we're not perfect. So, you know, over the last few years, um, you know, I've, I've worked on issues of, of compassion uh, it's easy for us to get caught into our own lives and our, and see things from our own eyes and not understand how uh, things impact other people um, and how other people may res respond to the same set of circumstances. It's, it's easy to get caught into thinking our way is right and that all people should, should do this. And, you know, I understand why people don't do that. And, and as opposed to understanding that we don't understand why people do that, we, we tend to formulate a, uh, uh, as the kids would say, a low key judgment on, on those folks. And so, um, you know, and having grace, um, you know, one of, one of my biggest, one of my biggest challenges has always been that I've, I've, I move very, very quickly when it comes to stuff. I just never had time in my life for BS. I always felt like I had a lot of, lot to do. I always felt like there was a lot um, of things working against me and that I had to be very, very precise and, and direct and, 
how I moved through the world. And that when people made mistakes, I identified that mistake and then I, and I moved on. And I, I think I've, I've lost some, some really good uh, friends uh, because of it. I've uh, cut some relationships short that I shouldn't have cut short. And there's conversations that I should have had with people about things that happened that I didn't. And, you know, in the long run, that, that doesn't do me, do me much good. Um, or, or just having, and another one is, is patience, having patience with, with other people. And, you know, one of the challenges about being somebody that can get things done, and I don't see myself as an A-type personality. I also don't see myself as incredibly detail-oriented, but then my wife checks me on that every time I, every time I say it. But, is, but one of the challenges of having an A-type personality is I tend to process information very quickly. So by the time somebody finishes getting their thought out, I've already analyzed what they mean on both sides of that. I've looked at it. Uh, I've critically analyzed their statement and tried to figure out you know, where I am and where that person stands and what they're really saying, what the undertones are and all of that. That helps incredibly in business, particularly when you're dealing with thousands of people. But sometimes I would move faster than other people are ready. Then I get frustrated with them because they're not where I am. And so, so patience is one. But the, the one that I've, I've started working on this year and I want to make sure that I uh, continue and I, I want to use this channel is, is gratitude. Just being thankful for, for what we have. Um, I always feel like um, the worst can happen at any moment and, you know, that I'm not lucky that I, I'm putting in the work and I'm doing this stuff and I'm trying to get it done. But I never it's, it's hard sometimes because I don't always sit back and think about how fortunate I am, how fortunate I am to have a beautiful wife who loves me unconditionally. The relationships that I have with my parents and as, as difficult as my relationship may have been with my parents over the years how intentional they were to raise me uh, to be the person that I am today, which I think is pretty damn good. Um, you know, the relationship that I have with my wife's family, um, you know, my wife and I, we, we have two families that, that really get along. And it's funny because um, like my mother-in-law, you know, a lot of people make jokes about their mother-in-law. I don't make jokes about my mother-in-law because we're like uh, Snoop and Martha. And I'm not going to explain why that is, but we call ourselves kind of Snoop and Martha, and it's, it's kind of a funny thing because um, we, uh, we just interact like that. And it's, and it's uh, but, you know, and, and, and so there's all of these things around that are, that are really good. And, and one of the things that's, that's incredibly, I was, I was watching uh, YouTube last night, and, you know, anybody that started a YouTube channel uh, looks at the channel, looks at, you know, their, their analytics, and they start to think about, you know, I don't have a million follow, uh, subscribers and, um, you know, I don't have all, uh, 10 million views and I, I'm not all, one of these. I'm not Mr. Beast or anybody. You know, I'm not I'm none of those things. And so you start to you start to kind of freak out. But I but one of the things I realize is there's a lot of channels out there that uh, that don't get any views. Nobody watches what they have to say. And the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm close to, you know, tens of thousands of views on my, on my channel and just being in it for a short period of time. And the fact that I, you know, have, you know, 70 to 80 subscribers, you know, after about five or six weeks of, of running the channel is, is phenomenal because it's, it almost makes me think, you know, there's, there, there can't be channels out there that nobody's watching, but, and the fact that I have people, you know, like some of you that have responded back, um, to me on different things or showed some thoughts or watched my shorts or even challenged me on a, on a couple of ideas. You know, I just think, I just think it's phenomenal. And, and so I, I want to take this opportunity to, uh, to just thank you, uh, the viewers, uh, because the channel isn't about me. It's not about my ego and it's not about me trying to tell people or the world how important I am, but it's about, uh, talking to you and trying to help you develop the confidence to know that not just, you know, I know our, the channel is primarily based on early retirement, but, you know, whether you retire or not, I want you to live the retired life. And what I mean by that is I want you to, to, to do the things that you want to do. I want you to feel empowered to make the decisions for your life that you want to make. I want you to feel empowered to do the things that fill your cup in life. So if, if financially we can never get to a place where we're not working day to day, you can certainly get to a place 
where you're living the life that you that you want to live. And um, and so that's that's and that's that's really the impetus. And so, I, you know, the fact that you're trusting me, uh, you know, I've always when I used to speak, I used to always say that, you know, you have to be worth listening to um, if you want people to listen to you. And, and, and so the fact that there's, there's at least 70 to 80 of you that, that think that I'm worth listening to is incredibly humbling. And, and for that, I, I'm grateful for, for you doing that. And, you know, and those of you that, you know, every couple of days, um, you know, see a short pop up for me or see it, you know, that are subscribed to the channel. I just think that's, uh, I just think that's, that's incredibly, that's just, that's just phenomenal. And I, it's people across the world and I, uh, not just the United States. I got the United States, Canada, got people in India, got people in all kinds of different places that are looking at, at what I'm talking about and, and saying, you know, this guy makes some sense. And, you know, again, there's a lot of people that wake up every day and just wish um, somebody would listen to them. There's people that go and see people on the street um, and wish they would listen to them. And it's funny because in my personal circles, I always get people, hey, Sabado. And I'm like, hey, what's happening? You know, so it's, it's just it's just one of the things that and, and I want to I want to tell you that, you know, I know I mentioned subscribers and, and viewers and likes and uh, my my Instagram uh, page and all of that. But I, I take none of that for granted. I, I just think it's um, I just think it's it's good. It's like it's almost like if what is it, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Right. I'm I just, I just feel feel really good. So I, I thought, you know, before I before I, I, I cut this video out, just to give you an idea of, of what some of the numbers are is. Uh, as we sit right now, again, I, I think I mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm somewhere between uh, 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 70 and 80 subscribers. So not a huge amount of, of subscribers. But again, it's not about the number of subscribers. It's about uh, me and my mission statement, personal mission statement of uplifting the human condition. But, you know, the other one is, is the views. Um, you know, my I had, I had one uh, video uh, short that got, I think, at one point my wife looked and it was like 5,000 views. And, and she said to me, she said, that's a, uh, you know, in this household, that's going viral. And again, I know there's people out there with millions of views and, and it's, you know, and I know people talk about the competition of YouTube. And, and the fact is I don't feel like there's competition because there's, there's, there's only one, uh, as Sabado out there and that's me. And, you know, you may or may not like what I have to say, but it's always real and it's always organic and it's always something that can be backed up 110%. And it's something that worked because it got me to where I am today, which is one of the reasons I think some of you, you listen to me. And then, you know, the, the other thing I want to mention is that there's a, there's a host of comments. I mean, I, I get some really good comments. I was, I was telling my wife that I, I think it's, it's phenomenal because I, you know, I've been toying with this, these different times of putting up my, my videos. And, um, I started now, I think I'm, I'm just doing them at, at 12 o'clock midnight. I, I either do them at 12 o'clock midnight or eight o'clock Eastern time, something like that. But on, on Wednesdays and, and Saturdays, but then I'll wake up in the morning to, to comments. And so it's just, it's, it's, it's just, I mean, I just, I just think it's absolutely phenomenal. I, I just think it's something else. And so, you know, I just, I just appreciate that because it's, you know, it's almost like, um, you know, I don't, I don't have that sense of needing a job because this is a passion for me. I, I found a passion and, and doing something I love to do when I was working, but having the forum to, to be able to do that. And so for that, I will, um, I'm, I'm, I'm eternally grateful uh, to each of you for, you know, as, as they say, you could have been anywhere else in the world right now, but you're here with me and I appreciate that. So, um, so I just ask that you, you know, continue to let me know what's on your mind and I'll continue to provide real perspective. Uh, the one thing it's it's funny you you look around you see all these super channels, and I don't want to be a super channel because I need to I want to be what you need me to be to be able to help you because I want you to to one day wake up and say you know I'm I'm closer to where I want to be and I have the confidence because somebody believed in me and because the only way that I'm here and again I, I grew up in a in an area. Um, where I, we had a high school dropout rate, the vice principal said, look to the person left you because there's a chance they don't graduate because we had a 55% dropout rate. And so when you start to look at how that fits demographically with girls graduating at higher rates than boys, and then you know you start getting into the ethnic demographics and stuff, there wasn't a chance that I was gonna, I was gonna be here. And it's just because at certain times in my life, there were things that happened that, that built, that, that externally kind of fed me some confidence. And, and so I think I have, uh, not just a gift, but a responsibility 
uh, to pay that forward, which is which is why we do it. So you'll always continue to get real perspectives from me. I'm always going to keep it real. If you send me, if you if you slide, I'm trying to use these kids' terms so I can be relevant because I look at my analytics and see that 18 to 25 is kind of light. I'm just trying to use those terms. I'm halfway kidding, but uh, you know, you can slide into my DMs and then you know I'll write you back. And if we want, if we end up with a conversation, we end up with a conversation. And um, you know, I think that's cool because then I learn from from all of that as well. So. That's, that's about all I had for today. But again, I, I just wanted to take an opportunity to thank you for being you. And I look forward to uh, connecting with you soon.